All right, we got them hung up. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on them, see if I can't skin them. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me get started. All right, we're making some progress, slowly but surely. Like I say, I've never cleaned one before, I've never skinned one, any of this. But I watched a few videos on YouTube and uh, they showed me what to do, so I'm gonna keep at it. Looks like it's uh, working a little bit. All right, got them all skinned. I'm gonna trim some of this fat off of them and then work on getting the guts out. Um, this is my first time ever skinning anything, so I think I did a okay job to say it's my first time doing it. I, uh, I messed up on the tail. I didn't have a tail scraper or whatever you call that, that tool. I didn't have one of those. So I messed the tail up, but I think I did pretty good with getting the skin off. Um, you guys can see right here, here's the pelt. And uh, it looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna roll this up, throw it in the freezer, take it to my taxidermist and see if he can't tan it for me. But uh, I messed up on one of the eyes. I think I cut it a little too much, but I got the nose and everything off pretty good. Um, the bottom lip, I probably could have did a better job on. But I think that's okay. It says it's my first time doing it. So let me go ahead and roll that up, throw it in the freezer, and we'll work on uh, cleaning the rest of this coon.
still working on getting the guts and stuff out. The camera died. I didn't know it. I thought it was still recording. But you guys can see where I am right now. It's pretty much clean right now. I just, I'm going to uh, trim some of this fat off of them. And then I think I might cut them up into smaller pieces so I can uh, put them in some little freezer bags, Ziploc bags, and throw them in the freezer until I figure out how I'm going to cook them. But right now, I'm just working on getting some of this fat off. See, there's a ton of it all up through here. So I'm about to work on getting some of this fat off. And then I guess I'll uh, try to pour them up a little bit. And then we'll throw them in the freezer. This is my first time doing this. I've never cleaned a raccoon or anything like that. But uh, it's definitely been a learning experience. I want to try cleaning my own deer a couple times. And this, I feel like, definitely gave me some clues of what I'm going to need to do when that time comes. Let me go ahead and keep working on some of this fat. See if we can get some of it off of here before I try to pour them up. I guess I'm going to save the spots where the ribs are. Um, no clue how I'm going to cook them yet. I talked to a couple different people. Uh, one of my cousins, he actually told me to boil them in some water and vinegar for about 45 minutes. And then he bakes them, puts them in the oven. And uh, another guy I talked to, I believe he said that he smokes them for a few hours and then he puts them on the grill and barbecues them. And that sounds like it could uh, turn out pretty good as well. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet. I saw a few recipes where uh, they were barbecuing them. You know, it's all personal preference, but I saw a lot of different things. Some people were soaking them in buttermilk like they do with the venison. Uh, like my cousin, he said he boiled his in water and vinegar for 45 minutes to an hour before he actually even cooks it and then he uh, bakes them. So, no clue what I'm gonna do yet. Got a lot of good ideas, but never eaten raccoon. Never really wanted to eat raccoon, but I figured it would be something to try out since I keep hearing so much good stuff about it. One quarter, 
if you guys can see it. Still got some uh, standing stuff on it. I spray it off with the hose real quick. But before we cook, I'll just uh, make sure to trim some of that fat off of it. So earlier, earlier the camera died, and then a few minutes ago, the memory card ran out of space. So something crazy is always happening when I'm trying to shoot my videos. But I got these two quarters off. I don't even know if they got recorded last time, but here are the two front quarters from the raccoon. They still have a good amount of fat on them, but before it's time to cook, I'll just trim some of that fat off of them. But you can see it's coming together. Let me get back to working on it. Two front quarters. All right, I just used this uh, electric knife to get the ribs off. It's pretty crazy. I got a slab of raccoon ribs right here. To try the other side by using the electric knife to cut those off. Not sure if this is the best tool for the job, but it, it did what I needed to do. Let me try on this side. quarters half here we have all four quarters and the ribs from that raccoon I uh, sprayed them off with the water hose but I'm about to take them in the house wash them off a little bit better and then I will let them dry and then put them in the freezer until I figure out how I'm gonna cook them But it actually looks pretty good. I don't know how it's going to taste, but it actually looks pretty good. So like I say, I'm about to take them in the house, wash them off a little bit better, let them dry, and then 
we will pack them up to go into the freezer. I have to do a um, cooking video once I finally do cook this though. It'll be really interesting. But anyway, it's Blood Swinging Gears 87. Holla at y'all later. Peace.